How's it going everyone? I'm Zedfiles and today I'm going to be showing you my top 5 list for the best creatures together biotoxin is <laughs> with I mean <laughs> so biotoxin if you don't know what it is it's like this blue kind of thing that you can get from jellyfish and it acts as narcotics but it's like three times better than narcotics these jellyfish here if you kill them you can get biotoxin but they can, when they attack you, you get stunned and you can't move. And if you're on your mount, then you get shocked off of it. So, basically, if you try and kill them while you're on a mount, the mount will just die. But there are some creatures, the ones that are on this list, that you can still use to get them. If you don't use any of these creatures, you can just try and shoot them like this with the crossbow. I missed. <laughs> you have to hit the top of it, I guess. Yeah. They don't have that much health. This guy's almost dead. But another problem about them is you can't see when they're almost dead. So coming in at number 5 is the Pelagornis. <laughs> He's like a big pelican kind of thing without the beak. <laughs> so what he can do, he can fly around. He can sort of glide. If I can get him to... So yeah, he can just stop like this. I think he's still... Yeah, he's still. So you can just like hover here. And he can also do this thing. He can land on the water. All the other flies kick you off if you put them in the water. But this guy just floats on top. And he's good for fishing. You can just kill the fish like that. And he's also good at killing jellyfish. But if you're doing this, if you're floating on the water and trying to kill them, they'll actually kill you, the jellyfish, because they can still stun you. I'm pretty sure they can't stun you if you're outside of the water, so what you do is you just come like that. Oh, he's still got me. <laughs> Quick, get up. Okay, so you have to just be fast. Now I'm flying slowly. Okay, you just have to do it quickly. And these guys, they are so... When you, they, when you do get stunned, if you don't go fast enough, you still drop far away from them, so that they can't keep stunning you. And they also, when they, <laughs> when they kill something, they harvest it straight away. So like, if your one hits it, you harvest it straight away. And he also does extra damage to these guys. He doesn't usually do 688 damage. So this guy comes in number... Five. Coming in at number four is the Spino. How do I? There you go. <laughs> so the Spino, he has lots of health. He can swim pretty good. <laughs> it's actually pretty bad, <laughs> but he's good for harvesting this stuff because he can attack from kind of far away. Oh, this is. I think. Oh, he made it. <laughs> so they have to. The jellyfish have to be pretty close to you. I'll try and get them again. There's so many here. Okay. So as you can see, he manages to get through quick enough without getting stunned. Because of his attack range, he can attack from further away. And he got all of them. <laughs> so yeah, the Spinosaurus, he's pretty- oh, I'm suffocating. He's pretty good for it. I'd say he's better than the Seagull. Because as you saw before, the Seagull still got stunned. I can't see it. And the Spinos are so really good at harvesting it. I think he's 5 out of 5 stars for harvesting it. So here's the Biotoxin. He got 333 already. And it spoils for quite a long time. And this thing, if you eat it, if a human eats it, it will kill them. I don't know how quick it is. I'll see. I might actually die here. Okay, it doesn't kill me. So it does like 40 damage. And also does a lot of torpor. I'm gonna be knocked out now. Uh, we can see how much torpor it does. So it's... It did 45 then. But I have 34 fortitude. Fortitude makes torpor stuff do less stuff. <laughs> do less uh, effect, I guess you can say. So yeah, the Spinosaurus comes in number 
helpful. Coming in number three is the Baryonyx, but I changed things around because the Baryonyx, I thought it could stun Jellyfish, but it actually can't. So yeah, <laughs> so the Baryonyx is going to be number five. Seagull thing, <laughs> you remember that thing, the Pelagornis comes in number four and the Spino comes in number three and number two and one stay how they are. So now the Baryonyx is number 5 and he's good, I'll show you in a second why he's good but first I'll tell you how to find these guys and also for the Pelagornis and Spino because I forgot to tell you about those. Oh there's a Microraptor here. So the Pelagornis, you just find them in places like this along the shore to tame them. What you do is bolo them and then chunk them and then give them fish meat. But they don't eat... yeah. Oh, here's one. <laughs> you just bolo it and then you chunk it and you feed it fish meat. They don't eat normal meat. And the Spino. Spino, you find them... I don't really know where you find them. They're just kind of in random places. They're sometimes in places like this. And they're also like further down that way. That's normally where they are. Like rivers and stuff. Rivers and streams. Wherever fish would be. Except for the ocean. <laughs> and the Baryonyx. You can find these guys along the shore as well. But you mainly find them in the swamps. To tame this guy, you just bowler him and you feed him fish meat. Bowl him, knock him out, and then feed him fish meat. But it's hard to do because they're so fast. This is how fast they are. So if you miss the bowler, then you're probably gonna be dead. So I'll show you why the Baryonyx are good now. Okay, we're back, and we're gonna say why the Baryonyx is good to have a Spirotoxin. So they're good because you can use weapons when you're on the back of them. And you can do that with like Megalodons as well, I'm pretty sure. But these guys, they're easy to tame. You can just tame them on land. They can also do a test on this fish. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> or when he does this to something big. Oh, this guy here. So it stuns them. It has like... It normally shows an orange circle. It doesn't show them for the Ecclesi for some reason. So this attack, it stuns them. When they're stunned, they can't move or attack. And it also takes players off their mounts, which is another thing they do in the wild, so be careful of that. But they can only do it in the water. But unfortunately, they can't do that to the jellyfish. They can't stun them. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> so, with the Baryonyx, you can just snipe them. For the jellyfish. While you're on the Baryonyx, you can snipe the jellyfish and you can easily swim away from them because the Baryonyx is pretty fast swimmer and if there's a Megalodon that comes you can just stun them and kill them or if you're low on health you can just swim away and then you can swim onto land like this <laughs> so you can just get away like that and they harvest Biotoxin pretty good yeah, about as good as a Spino. So this guy comes in number 5. Coming in number 2 is the Giant Squid, the Tuso Toothis. So this guy, he's really hard to tame, he's really late game tame. You have to feed him Black Pearls while he's chewing on like whatever you're riding on. And <laughs> it's a passive tame, you have to feed them Black Pearls. So yeah, <laughs> it's really hard to get these guys. But once you do get them, you can easily have a biotoxin from these jellyfish because they have they can attack from far away like that. And yeah, they do lots of damage, suffocating again. So they don't have to be close to the jellyfish to attack them. So they can they can attack the jellyfish without the jellyfish fighting back. And because they do so much damage, 
they can kill them before they get too close. And if they are getting hurt, you can try and do this thing. There you go. <laughs> so he does like a massive ink cloud and you can that blinds whatever was fighting you and then they can just swim away. I keep suffocating with this guy. This guy is the hardest thing to tame on this list and he's pretty hard to ride as well. But this is my first time riding him. So you could you'll probably get used to it. So yeah, the two so tooth is comes in at number two. Oh they also have lots of health. <laughs> More than the spino. So another cool thing they can do with the secondary attack is they grab on to their prey. As you can see is in my tentacles now. Oh he got out. <laughs> so you do that. And then you press left click then. And when you do that to them you actually take their health away so that heals you extra before I was a little bit hurt so doing that attack actually heals the squid coming in number one is the Basilosaurus <laughs> look at that, it can do a rainbow so this guy, the giant dolphin oh what? <laughs> there's a fish there so this guy, he's a passive tame he's actually easier to tame than most of these things all you have to do is get a Baryonyx, like I showed you before, and kill the Manta around this guy. Because when you see these guys in the wild, there's a bunch of these things I'm attacking right now around him. And you just kill all those Manta by stunning them, and then you can passive tame the Basilosaurus. To tame him, he just takes raw meat. So this guy, he comes in number one because he can't be stunned. I'll go over to these jellyfish and they can't stun me. <laughs> they could try but nothing's gonna happen. And you can just kill them. <laughs> they can't do anything to you. They don't even do any damage since that's their only attack. Just like that we killed like 10 of them and we already have 210 biotoxin. He's not as good as gathering it as the spino but he kills them super easy. If you want, you can kill them with the Basilosaurus, then bring in the Spino and harvest it, if you really want to get a lot. So the problems about this guy is that when he goes deep into the ocean, he gets hurt, so you can't really take these guys deep. He's good for being in the shallow parts though, which is where the jellyfish are. Oh no, <laughs> I've got that oxygen. I'll be back before I die. Okay, I'm back with a scuba tank. <laughs> so now we can go deeper. And I'll show you that this guy can get hurt when he goes deep. Oh, he also does this thing. I'll circle it right now. It's insulation. It makes you less vulnerable to heat and cold. So you can go to the ocean next to the frozen mountain things, the tundra area, without getting cold. So as you can see right now, he's getting hurt. He's down by, <laughs> you can barely see it, but he does get hurt. So you can't stay down here forever. And another thing is the, the eels, electrophorus. They also stun you, but they don't give you biotoxin. But they can't stun the Basilosaurus, same as the jellyfish. So right now, he's hurt by like 9 health. And he regenerates that by eating uh, some normal meat. You can just heal him easily. So, it's not a big con, but you can't really do big underwater things. Journeys, I guess. <laughs> like if you want to tame a Mosa. You probably wouldn't do that with the Basilosaurus. And another good thing about him is he makes this stuff, oil. He just makes this stuff when you just leave him alone. Or just over time. Like even I was using him like I am right now and he made that oil. So the oil 
it can just be used like normal oil except it does spoil it has a spoil timer and also when you find these guys in the wild and you kill them they'll drop this stuff the oil <laughs> but they drop a lot more than when they make it automatically it's like 100 or something it might be wrong but it's around that so this This is my top 5 list of the- oh I can't even see him. Wait, I'll bring him out so you can see him. Okay, there you go. So this is my top 5 list of dinos that harvest biotoxin. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, subscribing really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.